honestly, even uh, I didn't know that uh, I can do uh, something like this uh, with these objects and uh, with these details and uh, dimensions uh, in the ArchiCAD. And uh, seriously, I'm uh, surprised by the library that ArchiCAD has for the objects and uh, furnishing. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, I was explaining how we could have different materials on the walls and floors. As you see, we have different floors here and we have different uh, materials for the walls. Also, I uh, added um, a little bit more uh, colors to these rooms. And if you want to know how did I change the materials of the wall, and it is only on one side of the wall, click on the card right up here and you can uh, see that tutorial. And if it was good for you, don't forget to hit the like button and let's continue this tutorial. For today, I decided to add a little bit of uh, furniture to uh, the plan that we have and we want to do a little bit interior design for the plan. Based on the plan that we imported from AutoCAD, in these two rooms, we have bedrooms, uh, this is um, bathroom, and uh, this one, uh, we have kitchen, dining area, and a uh, living area. So I'm gonna start with uh, this bedroom down here. I'm gonna select the object tool, and on the dialog setting, I'm gonna search for bed. Then we can choose different types of bed from uh, ArchiCAD library, or we can uh, download these objects that uh, with this icon on the side. For this room, I would like to choose a bed like maybe this one. Then here on the settings, I'm going to add uh, the pillow. I'm going to check the sizes. I'm going to check for the legs and footboard, which I'd rather to remove it to uh, have a bed like this. Then uh, we have, um, we could set up the resolution, which I believe uh, I would like to use the full. Then uh, we could set up the um, spaces and dimensions. And uh, that's it. I'm going to hit OK and click on the plan. Then I'm going to uh, move this one with Control D. I'm going to move it here. Then with Control E, I'm going to rotate um, the bed. And then again with Control D, I'm going to select this uh, corner node and I'm going to put it here. Then uh, with this pink nodes, I can um, stretch and resize uh, the bed. And it's going to look like this. Then, for example, I would like to go for the closet. I'm going to um, select the object tool again. Then here, I'm going to search for wardrobe. These are the options that we have for the uh, wardrobe. And uh, for example, I would like to select this one, uh, which it has uh, two sliding doors. And then we could um, select different dimensions and options for the modules or uh, the door type, uh, the frame type, the height of the closet or the wardrobe. And then we could select the type for the interior, for example, in this one, we are working on the module one. And if I click here on the modules, uh, we can see that we could have six modules, but for this one, I choose uh, the four. Uh, then we could set up the legs for the closet. We could have different door types. We could uh, set up the drawers and we could, for example, select uh, different uh, knobs for the doors. And uh, also we could set up the position of the knobs. Then uh, we could set up the details on the plan view and the 3D view. And I, I'm going to hit uh, OK. And I'm going to put down the closet. Then I would like to move the closet to here. Then I'm going to uh, select this node here and stretch the closet a little bit. Also from here to there. 
And this is it. This is our closet that we select for uh, this bedroom. Uh, this is the bed and this is the closet. Then if we open the door of the closet, we would see that we can also uh, change the interior uh, of each part that we have. So I'm gonna close this one and I'm gonna move on to the next object that we have here, which uh, is a TV stand and a, a TV. So I'm gonna select the object tool again then I'm going to search for TV. For example, I'm going to select on this one. Then we could select a different support for the TV. Also, we could select the wall mount support. Then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to um, draw the TV like this. Then I would like to add a little bit of decoration or um, TV stand here. I'm going to go to the objects again, then I'm going to select maybe drawers if we have some um, good options. Uh, yep, something like this. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to add this one here. With these uh, pink ones, I can stretch it and change it to the size that I want. Well, um, the TV is now on the floor and we cannot see it. So uh, I'm going to uh, the plan. I'm going to select the TV and I'm going to set a height from the uh, floor plan, which, for example, 60, 60 centimeter. And then here on the 3D view, uh, we can also bring it up a little bit more like this then let's see if we could have um, a curtain or drapes here i'm gonna select the object then i'm gonna search for curtain i'm gonna select this one and uh, here then we could select if we want to have uh, the double curtain or just one side. And also we could select the number of the curtains that we want here. We could also change the dimension or the length of uh, each curtain. And uh, I'm going to hit OK and insert the curtain right here in front of the windows. So with Control D, I'm going to move it here. And with Control E, I'm going to rotate it to this side. Then with this one, I'm going to stretch. And also for uh, this uh, window, I'm going to use uh, the same. So with Control Shift D, I'm going to copy it. And with this one, I'm going to drag it right up here. So in the 3D view, we can have a drape like this. So I'm going to uh, move on to the bathroom because uh, this bedroom is going to be the same as this. I'm going to uh, use uh, the same object for this bedroom. And let's see uh, what we can do for the bathroom.
finished furnishing this unit. I added some uh, details to uh, this bedroom. Uh, also, I chose another types of um, wardrobe for uh, this bedroom. Also, I tried to uh, set up the color to add theme to this room. Also, I did some details for the bathroom and uh, also I did the living area and um, the kitchen. These cabinets have the same details and dimensions that I did for the closet and bed. And I'm sure you can do something much more better than what I did because I, I was doing it uh, very fast to show you the ability of furnishing in Archicad. So if you have more questions about um, using the object tool or uh, furnishing in Archicad, uh, write it down on the comments. I'm going to read all of your questions and I'm going to answer all your comments. Also, if this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because uh, there will be uh, many more tutorials about uh, Archicad and other architectural applications. So this is it for this tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.